Okay, this is my water distilling kit. So basically just simply a bucket, some copper pipe, which I bought in a coil, three meter coil, um, and it was, um, it was easily bendable pipe. Um, so I just coiled it a little bit tighter. I bought this little fitting for the end, which is a push on, push off fitting. And I just, yeah, coiled it into the thing, pushed it through a small hole that I made and then sealed that up with, um, sealed that up with some, um, silicon gel on the inside and the outside and that, that actually seals really well um, then this is just another piece of the pipe which just goes away from that and then we've got a a series of reducers to get from the very small pipe to this large fitting the large fitting fits onto this kettle, so no lid on the kettle, just a single uh, entry, exit entry point. Um, just got that off eBay, um, got all the copper at the hardware store, um, pretty cheap, and obviously bucket, very cheap hardware store. This is a little tool for the, uh, the connect disconnect pipe. And uh, okay, so I'll put it together and uh, show you how it works. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. We've got our kettle filled with undrinkable water, seawater, river water, whatever. We've got our uh, pipe with the reducers, which fits kind of quite well in there. But what I'm going to do is just put a bit of uh, duct tape around that just to make it a good perfect seal. Um, you could probably fit the pipe in, uh, f fit it uh, a different way, possibly a bit cheaper, but um, don't use plastic because any kind of plastic you will get a uh, taste in the water. The first attempt I did was with a plastic tube connecting the kettle to the uh, condenser and the water just tasted of plastic so forget that use metal all the way uh, is my recommendation um, and basically you can get a liter of water in half an hour so that's two liters per hour okay now you compare that with uh, solar stills which I don't know what the figures are on that, but I would think you'd be there all day and you'd get like maybe half a liter with a with a decent size one. So you know how much how, how much uh, solar stills you're gonna need to be able to survive for one person, let alone more than one person. This will get you as much water as you want in an hour. Okay, so. Obviously, normally this would be on a on a fireplace, and you know people say, "Oh well, you know the the, the solar still goes, you know, doesn't need a fire." But it, if you're in a survival situation, you don't have a fire, you know, you're going to be pretty screwed anyway. You you need a fire regardless, so you might as well use that fire as energy to boil your water. So, yeah. I'll just put the duct tape on and uh, we'll see how we get. Okay, I've just got a bit of duct tape on there now. And there is no steam coming out of there at all. All of the steam is coming up. Um, obviously, the reason we're using copper is because it's such a good conductor of heat. So all of this pipe is really really hot okay even right down to here even straight in there it is very hot and you can see bubbles forming on the water there it is literally boiling our cooling water 
and we have got pure water sorry we've got pure water just dripping out of here constantly it's only been on a few minutes and we've got a bit of water already so what I recommend doing is stir this because the water at the top gets very very hot so you want to mix it but um, because it's so efficient you will get the, the entire bucket of water will get very hot and you need to basically scoop out some hot water and put in some cooler water because obviously if your bucket's full of hot water you're not going to cool down the steam so um, yeah if, if the seal down here wasn't that good it wouldn't be the end of the world if you were in an outdoor situation so I'm actually losing some water there because it's not angled correctly but if you were outdoors and there was dirty water dripping out where your pipe comes out wouldn't be that much of a big deal your water level would go down and you would fill it up with more dirty water uh, just as coolant you'd still be getting pure water at the bottom wouldn't be a problem so yeah keep stirring this be very careful not to touch any of the pipe because it's very hot um, if you touch it further down it only actually takes a couple of turns before the pipe is cool so it's very efficient and um, yeah we, we just got water constantly coming out the bottom here just constantly coming out and like I said um, I mean I, I guess it depends on the heat but I'm on my stove on maximum and yeah I, I get two liters of water per hour pure water tastes great I'm actually losing a lot of water because it's not angled right it needs to be angled like that um, yeah. anyway but yeah this copper pipe is very easy to bend um, what I would recommend doing now when you when you go to bend into a coil obviously it already comes coiled so there's not much work to do but um, put it in a sink or a bath of hot water and it will become even more bendable and you basically just you basically just tighten the coil you know you hold it at each end and just tighten the coil a bit and fit it right in there and it's, it's very easy very quick So yeah, normally your kettle would just be above a fire. This would be seawater in here, seawater in here, or river, river water, pure water at the bottom. Um, I have to get the name of the copper. It was a certain type of copper pipe. I can't remember what it was called, but it was um, yeah, supposedly. Uh, easier than normal to bend and that there you have it I mean you've seen in the video how much water comes out if you've ever seen anyone else's YouTube videos of water distilling it doesn't come out that quick and like I said you know I'm losing water because it's not angled right anyway that's my water distiller and yeah, I, I think it's 100% efficient. I think if you boil a litre of water out of that kettle, I think you will get almost a litre back out of pure water, and you'll get it very quick. So, as far as I can tell, there's no steam coming out anywhere. Like, if it wasn't cooling down, you'd have steam coming out the bottom, but um, there's no steam coming out here there's no steam at all and there's no steam coming out there
you know, you want to get one without a lid, because otherwise you would get escaping steam there. You could, of course, use a pressure cooker if you wanted. Um, I don't think there's any advantage, just if you happen to have one lying around, you could do that. So there you have it. Okay, so obviously you need to wait and let the pipe cool down before you touch it. And then um, you can put your tool for disconnecting in there. Your duct tape in there. You can just bend this down into the bucket like so. And then your kettle fits in like that. And that's it. That's all you've got to take with you. And your pipe. That's a, a fairly compact solution for a very efficient uh, water distiller or purifier. And yeah, so. Next thing I'll be testing it with uh, seawater and I'll be testing it with river water and an open fire. And uh, see how we go. I might try and um, find something better than the duct tape. It's possible there's some chemicals coming off the duct tape. So I'll, I'll uh, see if I can find a better solution than that. Um, yeah. I mean, in, in a pinch you could use, you know, mud or clay would work very well because you know that's your dirty end so it doesn't really matter because it's only the steam that comes up and uh, you could also use mud or clay on the bottom seal you could even you could have a whole layer of mud at the bottom of the bucket and that would, that would seal that pretty good or even fine sand whatever so, there you go.